In this video, uh, we're going to learn Tibetan alphabet 25 through 30. So we're going to cover six alphabets, the remaining six alphabets. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, number 25, the Tibetan alphabet, alphabet 25. So this is 2 and 5 in Tibetan. You should sing a twenty-five. You should say do twenty-six. You should up do twenty-seven. You should up get twenty-eight. You should say go twenty-nine. Sumju 30. And as you can remember from the previous videos, most of the alphabets have about four steps. So I'm just gonna write the digits up here, the numbers. Chik, which is one. Ni, two. Sum, three. Shi, four. So even though the main emphasis uh, on, uh, on these uh, video series is on Tibetan alphabets, but at the same time, uh, we were covering all the uh, Tibetan um, numbers also, the digits. So this is one, two, three, four, and I'll do a quick recap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then maybe I'll put zero here. And then, so this is Lego, Chik, Ni, Sum, Shi, Nga, Tuk, Di, Ge, Gu. And then for 10, it would be one, zero. For 11, that's two of these, right? For 12, one and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, one and six and so on. Okay, so let me get rid of these. Okay. So the the <clears throat> the twenty fifth letter is ra, and these are the steps. Step one. And that's what rush should look like. Followed by Tsakdong. And then the next next letter is La. So this is Ra. And the next letter is La. Yingo. First step. Second step. Third step. And fourth step, followed by Tsakdong. So that's La. And then the next letter is Sha. Yingo. Step two. Step three. Oops. And then the final step. Make sure to have this right in the middle. Followed by Sakdong. So that's Sha. And then the next letter is Sa. Step one. Step two. And that's what it should look like. Followed by Tsakdong. Ra, la, sha, sa. And then the next letter is ha. Step one.
step two. And then right there. So that's letter ha. Oops. Followed by Chakdong. Letter ha. And then finally the last letter is ah. And these are the steps. Step one, step two, step three, and then step four, and then this one has five steps, and the fifth step, followed by Tsakdong. So that's letter ah. Ra, la, sha, sa, ha, ah. So this is the 30th letter. So we just finished covering all the 30 alphabets in Tibetan. And now this is how it sounds like in English. So this is R, A. And this would be L, A. This would be S H A. This would be S A. And this would be H A. Ha. And finally, this would be A. Ah. And if you can remember from one of the previous video, we discussed that after every Tibetan letter, the ah sound, the ah sound is always there. So when you say ra. The a sound is there. La, same thing. So after every Tibetan letter, the a sound is there. That's why we made sure to add the letter a or the sound a after every single uh, letter. Otherwise, if I just put for for ra, if I just put r only, then without the a, somebody might read it as r instead of ra. So that's why, uh, just to make sure, uh, that's why we added the letter A after every letter. Okay, now we'll uh, make uh, uh, two examples for each of these letters. So the first example that we normally find in most of the elementary books is Ra Jana Rajo, Rajo, Rajo meaning, okay, so let me write it first. And make sure to have this wasu. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, so the second step should be it should go down here. There we go, that's better. And then So now since we covered all the 30 alphabets, you guys should be able to recognize all these letters and the vowels. That's one we covered in the first video also. So just a quick recap if you have already forgotten. So this is these are the four vowels. Kigu. Shapju. Oops. Dengbo. And finally, Naro, which is the same as this one. And this one is generally either E, I, and sometimes Y, right? And this is pretty much always uh, U. And this could be A or sometimes E. A as an apple, E as an Edward, as we have discussed. I mean, as we have uh, discussed in one of the previous video. Okay, and this is always O. So this is Kiku, uh, and the sound is E. This is Shabku, Shabku, 
or Shabchu, which is always U, Dengbo, which is A or E, and then this is Naro. So the sound is O here. Okay, so in this case, it's Ra, Cha, Naro, Cho, Ra, Cho. Ra, Cho means horn. Horn of a goat. Okay, and then the second example is Ra, Dengbo, Re, right there. And then see if you can remember this letter. We have already dis uh, discussed this. Uh, in the previous video and this means hope so radingbo re wa rewa rewa means hope and then the <coughs> example the first example for la is la ka Oops. La ka lak. Pa. Lak pa. Lak pa means hand. And then the next example is La ka lak. La. Deng bo. Len na len. Lak len. Lak len means action. So basically, lak means hand, len means to take it. So to take it in your hands basically means action. Uh, I had this uh, uh, idea to make a, I always thought about uh, making uh, uh, a video tutorial on Tibetan alphabets for a while, but I really didn't act on it. So uh, in the last maybe two weeks or so, uh, I started doing it. So basically I took, took it in my hands and then start working on it. So that's what Laglen means, to take it in your hands or to put it into action. So Laglen means action. And then the next example for Sa is, oh no, Sha, sorry. Okay, so we finished Ra and La, now the next is Sha. So a common example for Sha is okay, I think I need to make this a little bit longer. Sha wa shawa shawa meaning deer a herbivorous animal. And then the next example for a sha, I think I'm going to write it here so that I'll have more room. And that would be sha, oops, okay that's better, sha, Dengbo Shen na shen pa Shen pa Shen pa means um, oh, butcher B U T C H E R butcher So Sha E na shen pa Shempa. 
and this hackathon if you remember from the previous video every time you see a, a punctuation mark or tucknon then you have to break the the syllable so this is a two syllable a word shen ba okay and then the uh, the next alphabet is uh, sa and then the examples are sa Oops. Let me try it again. Now this didn't come up well. Okay, let me try it one more time. Okay, that's better. Oops. Okay, that's good enough. Sa, ka, rata, ta, sata. Sata means map. I think it's also spelled as sa, po, karata, ta, sata. Same thing. So sata means map. And then the second example is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna write it here. Sa. Ya. Saya. Saya means million. So generally, we say the Tibetan population is six million. So when you say million, that's uh, what it means in Tibetan. Sa. Ya. Saya. And so generally it's one followed by six zeros, right? So so that's one million. Saya chik right there. Saya ni, saya sum, saya shi, saya nga, and then saya took this number right here, this digit, that's six. Saya took. Okay. And then the next uh, example, uh, okay, so the next example is for the letter ha. And the, f the common examples we find for letter ha is ha, ya. Oops. Nga ha ya nga yang hayang hayang means aluminium a lu me niam aluminium Okay, let me do this again. This looks kind of confusing. Okay, alumi ni um aluminium and uh, I was uh, told by my dad, and I've heard it from some other elderly uh, Tibetan people. Uh, the reason why they g gave this name for aluminium is. When aluminium first uh, came to Tibet, uh, when, they, when people saw it for the first time, they were touching and feeling it, and they found it extremely light. So generally, hayang means ha means in amazement, uh, basically talking about some kind of a range either it's way too high or way too low. So in this case, uh, ha uh, for that uh, expression, and then yang means light. So basically, this means too light very light 
so aluminium uh, compared to a lot of other metals is uh, pretty light so that's why this wood uh, Hayang uh, came up in Tibetan okay and then the next example for Ha is Oops. Ha ma ham ba ham ba ham ba means greed. So generally, with any people, including myself. When you get some really uh, tasty and delicious food, even though you're full, your stomach is full, but generally we tend to eat more than necessary. So that's what this word means. Hamba. <clears throat> okay, and then, so finally we have to come up with two examples for the letter A. Ah. So the first example is for the letter A, and that's also a very common uh, word that, that we normally see in elementary books. A, ma, ama. Ama means mother. Okay, and then the second uh, example for the letter A is A nga ang Oops. Okay, so that was pretty close. Anga ang ka kigu, which is uh, this one right here. So it's e, right? So anga ang ka kigu ki angi. Angi means uh, angi means number. There we go. So generally we'll say Angi Angi Chik Angi Ni Angi Sum Angi Shi. Angi Chik means number one, Angi Ni number two, Angi Sum number three, Angi Shi uh, number four. So that's what Angi uh, means. Okay, so now we have just completed uh, making examples uh, for the remaining six letters. So I'm going to try to read one more time. Uh, ra, la, sha, sa, ha, a. And then the examples are ra, jana rocho, racho, horn. Ra, Dengbo re wa re wa meaning hope la ka lak pa lak pa meaning hand la ka lak la dengbo lena len lak len action sha wa shower dear sha dengbo shena shen pa Shempa. Shempa means butcher. Uh, the next uh, is sa ka rata ta sa ta. Uh, I don't know whether we have covered the rata uh, in the previous video, but uh, surely uh, we'll cover these uh, in the next uh, coming uh, uh, tutorials. Uh, so this one is rata. So for now, just remember this is rata. And uh, this, in this case, this goes right underneath the letter ka. 
So this is sa ka rada ta sa ta sa ta means map and then sa ya saya saya means million and then the next is ha yang ah yang hayang hayang means aluminium ha ma ham pa hampa hampa means greed ah ma ama ama means mother ah nga ang ka kiku ki angi angi means number so now we have just finished all the 30 alphabets in Tibetan language and uh, most of the examples I have used here uh, I've uh, got it directly from uh, Milam uh, dictionary uh, that was one of my uh, resources just to make sure I get it right and um, also to find like simple words so that it's easy for uh, beginners to uh, understand and most of the time we have used like it maybe at the most uh, two syllable uh, words like ra janarocho rajo radingbo re wa re wa very very uh, simple words so we have just finished uh, all the 30 alphabets and make sure uh, to uh, practice just follow all the steps here it's very uh, explanatory so if you just follow the steps here and you guys should be able to write all the Tibetan alphabets uh, all the 30 alphabets including the vowels Kigu, Shabchu, Dengbo, Naro and should be able to make similar words like small small words with two, two syllables or and then very very easy examples so <clears throat> uh, I I would still emphasize you guys to make sure just just keep practicing and I'm pretty sure like you'll uh, get it uh, just keep practicing uh, and in the next uh, video probably I'm gonna do uh, Uchen so now we have just finished Ume these are the headless uh, letters if you can remember in the first video we have uh, talked about uh, Uchen, Ume, and Kyugik, right? So the this is Ume, the headless letters, and then there is Uchen, which is headed letters, and those are normally we find in uh, publications and textbooks most of the time. And as we have discovered in the first video, uh, this uh, these headless uh, letters are used from first grade or from preschool all the way. Uh, to like sixth grade and then from seventh grade uh, you start writing in Kyugik uh, or the running script or scribbling and but the textbooks generally come in Uchen uh, which is directly uh, translated as headed letters so today we have just finished the 30 uh, headless letters with the examples uh, so in the meantime, please uh, make sure to, if you don't uh, get it right, just uh, keep re revisit the uh, previous videos and then you can pause it, replay it uh, until you are okay with it. So just keep watching the videos and uh, hopefully uh, in just maybe in a couple of weeks, you guys should be able to... Uh, recognize all the letters and the alpha, uh, the, the the vowels, and make uh, similar um, uh, examples. Uh, until then, uh, if possible, uh, try to help others. If not, uh, at least uh, restrain from harming others. Thanks a lot.